Hey, this is Rich from ClearPath. We focus on reliable, dispatchable technologies with zero emissions. And there's one critical, clean, renewable, dispatchable technology we haven't touched on much. That's geothermal energy. Geothermal harnesses the Earth's core for heat that can be used in homes, industrial processes, or to generate electricity. Since those high temperatures below the surface very rarely change, geothermal is the only renewable resource that truly is available 24-7, 365 days a year. Although today geothermal accounts for less than 1% of U.S. electricity, it has huge potential. The temperature deep underground is more than boiling. In some cases, those resources reach the surface in places like Iceland. Geothermal's biggest opportunity lies in all the places where the heat doesn't come as close to the surface. DOE estimates that there's enough advanced geothermal electricity potential in the United States alone to power half the country or more on geothermal. Geothermal generally comes in three flavors, direct use, conventional hydrothermal, and advanced geothermal. The first, direct geothermal energy, uses the difference between the surface and underground temperatures to heat and cool buildings. The second is electricity generated from conventional hydrothermal resources, where natural underground water reservoirs are tapped to produce steam, which is used to generate clean emissions-free electricity. The third kind, advanced geothermal, uses new technology to make geothermal cost-effective in geologies that were previously inaccessible. While traditional hydrothermal electricity is mostly confined to the western United States, advanced geothermal resources are almost everywhere. While we've researched the potential to improve these advanced geothermal reservoirs since the 70s, new technologies such as breakthroughs and ultra-strong drill bits and new horizontal drilling techniques have helped in understanding and better making use of underground energy resources. These innovations make advanced geothermal much more realistic and competitive. Things are now heating up pun intended, in both the public and private sector around advanced geothermal. A few notable examples in the public sector. The DOE is supporting a new project called FORGE. It's a Utah-based lab developing tools and test wells for advanced geothermal. ARPA-E has explored new technologies in this space, and DOE's Office of Technology Transitions has invested in cutting-edge software and sensors at the national labs that help map the geothermal potential in big rock formations. One technology we're following in particular is Fervo Energy. They spun out of work at Stanford and participated in Cyclotron Road, DOE's incubator for early-stage clean energy entrepreneurs. They now have backing from Breakthrough Energy Ventures, that's the mega investment fund founded by Bill Gates and other energy innovation philanthropists, and they're exciting because they combine these new technologies to get at more resources in more places more affordably, all to commercialize within five years. They use highly targeted horizontal drilling to reach further from a single well. They then use something called distributed fiber optic sensing, a technology they're commercializing with backing from RPE to continuously measure the movement of water below ground at high resolutions so they can improve energy production in real time. All of this hot water generates steam, which they then capture and pump to the surface to make clean electricity. These early technologies could have a hot future ahead of them. Thanks for listening.